Hello, I'm Ian Livingston, I'm one of the consultant ophthalmologists and this is a very quick rundown of some of the equipment your ED now has uh, to examine a patient using digital means, which means being further away from the patient and there's an advantage during COVID-19. At the present time, all these pieces of equipment are stored in the senior nurse's office. First bit is the photobluminator 2. This is presently in a peak retina box, um, like this one, and you can see it's on a peg and it's a simple magnifying glass and it has a small switch which has got two settings, goes white light to one side and blue light to the other side. And to fit it, use the iPad mini that the department's been provided with. The easiest way to fit it is to use it as a magnifying glass as you clip it and ensure the optic of the device is right in the center. And with that in place, you type in the passcode and you'll be faced with this kind of screen. You can do some minor adjustments to make sure you've got a good centralized image. And I'll do a selfie exam to show you how it works. So I'll put the white light on. And this is quite an elegant way to examine a child or a multi-trauma or a patient who can't posture at the slip ramp. And with the blue light setting after fluorescein goes in, you can do some finer adjustments by pressing on the screen and adjusting the exposure as needed. But you shouldn't have to worry about that. So that's the photo Bluminator 2. It comes off very easily and is stored in the box. A few quirks of the device. This rocker here often accidentally gets left in this position or this position. If it's left like that overnight, the batteries will be completely dead <coughs> and it'll need to be replaced. Um, there are four screws holding it in place and these are the batteries required, uh, of which you need four of them, small batteries like that. And you need a small Phillips screwdriver to be able to replace them. I've had to replace them about three times, so it's really important to try and leave it in the correct position. It's very easy for it to be knocked into an off or on position. Um, the next device that I want to show you is for retinal examination, and it's the Odox None. It's got an iPod Mini attached to it, and um, the passcode is should be available for you on the front of the device. In terms of settings, uh, to switch it, it's held like this with respect to yourself. So the patient's eye would be here looking into this part and you are using the iPod as a digital viewfinder. And uh, the power is here, which switches the light on and controls the brightness. So that's at this aspect here, and to switch it off, you put it all the way around. You'll hear the click. This adjustment is for the different filters, of which blue for anterior segment exam is the, probably the most useful, but otherwise it should be left on white. And this adjustment here, which is where your trigger finger will be, so to speak, it uh, moves the lens in and out slightly for finer focus. I would recommend leaving it on the green setting here, but it can be just adjusted uh, during the examination. I'll try a selfie. It's always better to dim the lights. <coughs> it's a bit different to the direct ophthalmoscope in that you're a wee bit further away. See that the charging point for the Odox None is down here. This bit opens up and allows you to plug in a USB-C adapter, which will be found in the Odox None box, which is in 
the senior nurse's office in the emergency department. The last device that I want to show you is the medical devices unit from Glasgow the Strathclyde collaboration device. Um, so the unlock code at the present time, while we're getting used to it, is written on the front of the device. It has a small switch here at the side which is on a rocker and has two settings, which is dim and bright. The idea is one is for undilated, one is for dilated exam. We just use the native camera app for this device. Um, and I recommend that you get the room as dark as you can. It makes a very big difference to performance. So you open the camera app pick the desired setting. I'll choose the dimmer setting because I'm presently undilated. And start from far away. It's a bit like using the direct ophthalmoscope. And you can also zoom the screen slightly with a reverse pinch gesture to get better control. I suggest that you record the examination. And it allows you to go and interpret it afterwards. That can make examination a little bit easier. It's very good for spontaneous venous pulsation. But this is an undilated retinal exam. It gives you a good idea of how easy it is to get disc detail. The visual field improves significantly when the patient is dilated.